Hi everybody, it's Coach Ali and I want to welcome you to your Barbell Hit Ultimate Fat Burning Workout. All you need is a barbell and some clear space around you free from trip hazards. During this high paced workout, you should burn around 500 calories every half an hour. So let's do this and let's get shredded together. For the strength exercise in this set, we're going to do some traditional squats. You can see that Levi's feet are parallel at shoulder width and he's dropping down until his thighs are horizontal. Shin bone is remaining relatively vertical to maintain good form and of course the spine is remaining neutral too. Let's get a full set of squats before changing to knee strikes. Start in your fight stance and knee strike a full set with your right leg and then a full set with your left. Let's try to keep good pace throughout this exercise. Your turn to try the combination. Stiff leg deadlifts for the strength exercise in this set. Start with parallel feet at shoulder width, keeping your knees soft straight as you drop forward into your deadlift motion. Lift swiftly by squeezing your glutes and back until you're standing back upright. Be sure to look for a neutral spine protecting your lower back during your set. For cardio, let's do some King Kong slams. 
Imagine you're throwing a heavy slam ball towards the ground and be sure to get good squat action on your way down. Your lower quads should be burning by the end of this set. Let's do it. Isometric squat for the strength exercise in this set. You can see that I'm doing it in sumo squat stance with legs wide and knees pointing out to keep the pressure off my knees. You can do it this way or with narrow parallel feet if you prefer. Both options are acceptable so it's completely up to you. The cardio exercise is a stepping version of half burpees so we're missing the push up and we're also missing the jump at the top too. I'm doing mine on the barbell, but you can do yours on the floor if you prefer. I like this version of burpees because it keeps the calories burning, but it eliminates the joint impact, which is a much more sustainable version of traditional burpees. Enjoy.
alternate lunge for this strength exercise. But you can see that Coach Levi is stepping back into reverse lunges. These are easier on your knees than stepping forward into a lunge, so they're a great long-term lunge training solution. Keep your weight distributed two-thirds on your front leg and one-third on your back leg. Keep your upper body upright and your spine nice and neutral. For cardio, let's do some in and out squats. The goal here is to keep up a good pace but maintain your height to keep your quads active during your set. Simply jump in and out with your weight primarily on the ball of your feet to minimize impact on your knees and hips. Your turn to try it. Suitcase squat is like a traditional squat but weighted entirely on one side. This will test your core and your stabilizers apart from working your quads and glutes, particularly on the weighted side. Let's do a set with the right and then a set with the left before moving on. Then let's drop down and do some basic crunches. You can see that my elbows are wide and I'm looking straight up to prevent me from yanking at my neck. It's a good range crunch, but I'm keeping the lower back grounded the whole time. Your turn to try this combination.
Traditional barbell calves raise from your standing position. You can see that I have my feet parallel at shoulder width and I'm making sure that I put a little pause right at the top of the calves raise to really emphasize the flexion in this exercise. To keep the action going on the legs, let's switch to some high pace air squats. Let's look for good range of motion and controlled but fairly quick squats for this set. Your turn to have a go. Start this exercise with wide parallel feet. Drop into your side squat by bending one of your knees but keeping the other one straight. Simply alternate left and right to engage each thigh alternately. Try to maintain your posture as best as you can and make sure you drop nice and deep into your side squats. For cardio, let's do some rotating chops. The trick here is to make sure that the hands and feet are going in the same direction. Where many people go wrong with this exercise is that the feet go in one direction and the hands go in the other, so it becomes a wide leg version of twist hops instead of rotating chops. Let's have you try this superset.
Start this exercise with an isometric sumo squat and then lift your heels off the ground by placing your weight on the ball of your feet one leg at a time. To do your prances correctly, be sure to maintain your height and don't bob up and down. For the second exercise, let's lose the barbell and rotate some left facing and right facing lunges. These lunges should be relatively lengthy, keeping your front leg shin bone vertical at the low lunge position. Keep up a good pace during this set. This exercise will test your balance a little bit too. Have a go. That's right, I'm talking to you. I see you slacking over there. Come on, bring it home strong. With the bar resting on your traps, let's get into some sumo squats by starting with white legs and toes, pointing out at 45 degrees. Drop down into your squat and get your thighs horizontal before squeezing your glutes, hamstrings and quads to lift all the way back up. For cardio, let's do some front and back hops remaining light on the ball of your feet and keeping up good pace during the exercise. Your turn to try this combination.
Barbell road kill with your head off the ground and straight knees. Keep your lower back pressing into the floor. Hold still for the duration of the set. Then let's turn over into four points and work our side knee raise from there. One set with the left and one set with the right. Your turn to try this combination. Well done for getting through this challenging workout today guys. Now let's turn our attention to Daphne for some post-workout static stretching. Stand upright and bend one leg back, grabbing the top of that foot. Bring your foot as close to your butt as possible while keeping your knees close together. Tuck your pelvis and pull your foot back even more for a deepened stretch. Hold on to a wall for balance. Now let's do the quadricep stretch with the other leg.
Start on your hands and knees. Have your hands directly under your shoulders and your knees below your hips. Lift your knees off the ground and press your chest towards your thigh. Try to straighten your legs completely and lower your heels to the floor. You can alternate with bending one knee and pressing the opposite heel into the ground to stretch each leg individually. Ensure your abdominals are engaged and have your shoulders away from your ears. Hold for 30 seconds. Start in a high kneeling position. Take a big step forward with your right leg. Shift your weight forward until your right knee is directly over your ankle joint. Draw your abs to tuck your pelvis and feel the stretch in the right front side of your pelvis. Hold for 30 seconds. Now let's repeat the psoas and hip flexor stretch on the other leg. Stand with one leg crossed over the other. Bend forward at the hips and try to touch the floor with your hands. Try to straighten the back leg. To increase the intensity of your stretch, straighten your spine as well. Hold for 30 seconds. Reverse out of that position safely and repeat with the other leg in front. If you like this video and you want to see more like it, then remember to click here on the right and subscribe to this channel. I also think this video and this video down here might be of interest to you, so be sure to check it out.